maybe after this, we'll see if we can get some pictures. We'll take a tour past all the pot shops. Well, welcome back to Dave Eats. Well, today we're heading out on a road trip. We've got the trail piece back, so we're heading out of town. We're actually going to Southwold. Southwold is uh, part of the uh, Oneida Territory. And well, let's just sit around, we'll enjoy the trip, and we'll get there real quick. I'm sure you people back at home watching this can just see how smooth the trail beast is on the road. We've got the doors off, we've got the top off, the wind's blowing through our hair. Well, how are you making out over there, Lucinda? These signs let us know we're getting close to our destination. $80 an ounce, let us know if that's a good value down in the comments. And here we are, we've arrived at our destination, Bubs. Open 10 till 8. All right, here we are. Looks like there's lots of parking. Let's go on in. What's that little blue thing with the big door? Is that a space shuttle? How are you? Good, how are you doing? Good, thank you. Uh, what can I get for you today? Um, I better have a Bubba's platter and uh, oh, a cheeseburger too, I guess. Okay. I'll take two cheeseburgers? No, just one cheeseburger. Oh, just one burger, sorry. Yep. My apologies. No problem. And the Bubba's platter. The, this one here. The $25 one? Yep. Uh, what kind of uh, pop did you want? Uh, Diet Coke, that soda, or cola, or Diet Coke Zero. Okay, we have both. Coke Zero? Yep. Uh, two Coke Zeros would be great. Okay. And is that everything for you? That's it. Okay. Uh, so it would be $30.50. Alright. That's great. Okay, I'll just be outside in the Jeep. Thank you. Welcome back. Dave Eats London. Well, you saw by that long trip that we're not in London anymore. No, we're not. We're in uh, Southwold. Yes, we are. Uh, 
maybe after this, we'll see if we can get some pictures. We'll take a tour past all the pot shops. <laughs> and maybe we'll add a montage of all the pot shops after at the end. <laughs> but we're at Bub's. So, let's see what we got. All right. Cheeseburger. Those are some big uh, pickles down there, aren't they? So they said, what do you want on this? It's loaded up. So that's what we got. Um, next, we got the Bubba's Platter. Okay. <laughs> so, now, this would normally come without french fries. It would come with uh, onion rings. But no onion rings today. Uh, they're out. So we got french fries and stuff. So, yeah, that was 25 bucks. Pretty Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Absolutely. Well, we're going to check all this out. Well, <laughs> how you doing, guys? Good. How are you? All right. Wrangler or uh, what is that? It's a Wrangler. Yeah. TJ. Is it? Yeah. Oh, you find that good? It's all right for an old vehicle. You know, it's a 99, right? So yeah. it's not that new, but... It, it looks brand new. Yeah. Yeah, well, we're, gonna, we're doing a review on the food right now. Yeah, we're gonna have her up on YouTube probably in the, within the next week. So they're on hey. Facebook here, so I'll send them a link to it. Yeah. Super. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. Hey, All right. So now I got some uh, ketchup and salt and stuff right here. So what do we got in there? We got pogos, um, chicken nuggets, fried mushrooms, pickle spears, mozzarella sticks. We got plum sauce for the chicken nuggets. We got ranch for the pickles. We got uh, mustard in there already. And ranch for the uh, mushrooms and marinara for the mozzarella sticks. Oh, I got some uh, malt vinegar. Malt vinegar. Think that's enough on there? Oh, yeah. So what about the other eighteen? <laughs> Would you like some ketchup and some salt? Okay. Throw some ketchup and salt on there. I'm going to throw some salt on stuff. Just get this stuff ready. I should probably eat my burger while you're doing this. Is what I should have done. There we go. There's more ketchup and salt in here and everything if you need it. I'm going to take a bite of this burger while you're going to season our stuff there, right? Oh, okay. So this is a homemade burger for sure. Um, A little messy. <laughs> That's my fault. I should just load it up. Burger's flavorful. The bun's got sesame seeds on it. Um, the bun's, uh, it's all good. It's good. It's a good sized burger, too. This place is super busy. There is sauce after sauce after sauce here, isn't there? Yeah, and they're not tiny sauces. They're a oh, good portion. They're filling them up, aren't they? Yes, they are. French fries are fresh cut? Yes, no doubt about that. No doubt at all, eh? No doubt about that. Mmm. Try me a chicken nugget. Now, are they a solid white meat or are they uh, a form nugget? What do you think? Form. Like a McNugget? Yeah. They're not bad. No. Nope. Hmm. Well, they do have some other things in there I'd like to try at some point in time. Like a scone dog. Or a Bubba size fry. You can get Bubba size fry and fries, poutine, chili cheese fries, fries mm. supreme, and they're in a tomato box. Tomato flat. Like, it's this deep. <laughs> and it's, I'll try to show up, bring the picture up again. Hopefully I got it on the stealth cam. But they said they're quite popular. They sell quite a number of the Bubba size fries. Mmm. Salsa. Was it salsa? Mm-hmm. For the... For the mozzarella sticks. That's nice. Mmm. That's a nice salsa too, isn't it? Yeah. Very nice. Really nice salsa. So far, so good. Mm-hmm. 
Not that the value wasn't bad in this box for twenty five dollars, do you? No, because you it's full. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna try a mushroom, how about you? Mm-hmm. They may still be smoking hot. These things tend to hold the heat. They get a little oil in the pot of oil. Mm-hmm. It stays that is a, a that's like four times the amount of ranch dressing meat. Oh yeah. For a sauce person like you, that's mm -hmm. even still too much, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And we got that for we got two of them. Mm-hmm. How hard is that? How They're hard? Not, hot. Not, hot. not crazy. Yeah. I haven't had any of these nuggets. Mm. Bubble box, 25 bucks. I try the polo. I'm going to try a pickle spill. I'm going to have to have ketchup. More of a mustard guy. No mustard in there. Mm. Are the pickle spill good? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. We had some you didn't you didn't care for it lately, didn't we? Mm hmm. I don't remember where they were, but no, these are a nice, nice dill pickle. <clears throat> That's just your regular polo. It's what you expect. But I'm going to try to put this here. So they have a little snap to them. The ones we had not long ago. Were really soft, mushy, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe overcooked. Mm. I'm not a big lover of deep fried pickles, but they're pretty good. Mm -hmm, they are very good. Well, Bubba's 25 bucks. Bubba box, five dollars. It was just just over 30 bucks with the burger. Um, mm, too hot. Well, the two pops come with the bubble. Oh, mm. that's twenty-five bucks for that box, including two pops. I think it's a decent price. Yeah, definitely. I really do. If you're out in the area and you got the munchies because you're getting your four twenty, <laughs> this just may be the place to stop. Bubba's, just uh, a few blocks from Oneida Organics. Yes. And there was another one up the street here. We got a picture of. You see, they got a lot of specials on eighty dollars ounces. So, hey. If you're looking for a cheap ounce and some cheap eats, come on down to South Pole. Well, I think that's it for now. What do you think? Mm-hmm. We've done the review. Leave a comment below. Subscribe. Hit the like button. Share. And we'll see you next time. <laughs> I'm Dave. And I'm Lucinda. And thanks for watching. So, as promised, we have a little tour of dispensaries in Oneida. 314 canvas, premium quality. Hey, for WN420, Wellness Nation 420, only four kilometers up the road, that's at Grandpa's Gas Bar. Uh, Creekside Fire, hey, this place has got clones. Anybody looking to grow themselves a couple of plants? Well, there's a place you can probably get a couple of things to start with. Anyways, quick stop. Now, I love this place. This was one of my favorite places. Why? Because this place must have had 12 generators. You know, Chronics, just a great name. Chronics Dispensary, yeah. Oneida Nation, or Oneida 420 Dispensary, this is one of the originals, I believe. Uh, Pinks, man, there's gotta be some copyright infringement there, you'd think, wouldn't you? Hemp Empire, bonus, they've got fireworks. Gotta love it. Uh, the Weed Shop, I just love the name. You know what it is. Red Eagle Organics, another one of the originals, I believe. Uh, looks like a nice place, doesn't it? Drive-through dispensary, awesome. Um, Tim Hortons drive-through, even better. Uh, drive-through dispensary, nine till nine. Uh, looks like they sell smokes, but they've also got Tim Hortons at the drive-through dispensary. This place is great, and a car wash, all in one. Man, well, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the tour, and we'll see you soon.